For some, modding is considered cheating, and for me, it's considered unlocking a ton of fun and craziness. Today I'll play as Thor, the god of the thunder, who gains an additional projectile every 15 levels to a maximum of 10, starts with the thundering, and I'll use a lot of skips because the limit is I can't use any other weapon than the thunder loop, so the upgraded thundering. I can use whatever item I want to have, so the passive weapons at the bottom row, but if I get a weapon offer, then I just have to skip and I can't pick it. Can I beat Kreen Acres just with that, or will I get overrun as the God of Thunder? Let's find out. Oh wow! Okay, I'm actually surprised, because I was sure I'll do some changes to the sprite, but overall that looks really good. And I like that he's not permanently flying, he's rather bouncing up and down, that gives him some more li life, you know. No, I'll keep that, that is amazing. Oh, lightning ray upgrade, perfect. So, because we are playing on green acres, the enemies have plus 50% health, which for the bats is more than fine, but, well, once the next wave spawns, we will most likely not kill them anymore, maybe on a high damage roll, but aside from that, it will actually be quite hard, so hopefully I get to upgrade my stuff. And, yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. I have two rerolls, I'll use one here. Duplicator! Okay, never mind, I think we are set for this. Let's go! The Thunder God is rolling in! Well, I, I, I guess he's flying. Uh, okay, that is the last reroll that I had. I hope this would take way longer to get here. Ooh, but Candle Labrador is really good. Given that we are playing with Curse, there are so many enemies bunched up together, so increased area is insanely strong. Empty Tome or Duplicator? Hmm, that is actually a very good question. Duplicator would instantly help us. Empty Tome means we don't have to gamble on when we get it. Yeah, I'll go for Empty Tome. I think Duplicator would have been a lot stronger, but em having Empty Tome save in the bag is worth a lot. No, oh, I was hoping this bat would drop a chest, because if we get the Lightning Ring maxed out before 10 minutes, we could just evolve it with this bat chest. But, yeah, it looks like we are just not hitting the bat. I, I need higher levels. I need higher le You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. For real? I mean, I'll t obviously it's a duplicator, right? A bone is another weapon, I'll not take that, but why does this happen now, when I can't pick it? Oh, these bat swarms are actually really difficult to deal with. Not because they don't die, but because they are so big, I can't get to the experience inside of them. Let me lure them up here. Empty tome should help to wipe them out faster, but yeah, it's not easy. Oh, finally, Lightning Ring 3. This is really good because of the 100% base area increase, and of course the damage as well. Oh, this feels so satisfying to see it strike and just, like, the entire area dies there. Everything in its zone. Oh, food! Perfect! Alright, Candle Labrador. I don't mind being forced into that, it actually helps a lot. Right now my concern is the wave at minute 11. The skeletons. If we get that, then this might actually be really difficult. I just realized that this was actually supposed to be a test run, but then I saw the sprite and I was like, yep, yeah, everything checks out, there's no testing needed, but there was one thing. I actually don't know if the bonus amount that he gets is working, so I gotta check that at level 15. Oh, okay, the bat died, it didn't drop a chest. That is quite sad. There's a chance this bat here is actually the original one from minute one, but I, I don't believe it. Now, okay, both died either way. Um, let's go for Empty Tome, sounds good, and let's get this experience. Okay, I took a lot of damage there for no reason. Oh, I have to take armor. Yeah, that is very fitting for him. And another lightning ring level, there we go. Another 100% area increase. I wish there was a way to see how large the area actually is. <laughs> okay, you know, I thought this was easy going and it would not be a problem. Oh my god. But the thing is, even weaker enemies get to hit me because, you know, I, I can't target them. So, do we have plus four now? Yes! It worked! Oh my god, that is so amazing. This will be so crazy. A clover! And, yep, I can't even destroy any food sources. Hmm. Candle Labrador. Perfect. Candle Labrador again. Even better. <laughs> but I would like to have some armor by now. We still have a revive, so I'm not too concerned, but I also wouldn't want to waste it this early in. Oh, Tiragisu. 
Nah, we don't need that. Let's take let's take the lightning ring. Oh no. This is a very big mistake if I do that. But but when did I when did I go for mistakes in the past? And the lightning ring is maxed out. That means the moment we are 10 minutes and we actually get to kill the boss because I can't target our attacks. I will upgrade the lightning ring to the thunder loop and we will use its full power. Okay, empty tome is maxed out. I would like to see some, you know, other things. Uh, that was not the thing I was talking about. This will just make everything harder. Okay, I gotta say, the lightning ring is actually attacking often enough that the enemies can't get too close to me. Like, sure, some do, but most of them actually die on the way. Um... Really? I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen, and I haven't changed anything in those regards. That is interesting. I noticed this a couple of times when I was doing challenge runs, where I would only use a single weapon, that this happened. Okay, so do I go for armor here? Oh, I either go for armor or wings. If you think about Thor, what makes more sense? His armor or wings? He, he can fly, but he has no wings, right? Let, let's go for armor. Oh, Okay, I totally forgot about that. The Banshees are super deadly. I can't outrun them. I have to rely on a random hit on them. And if they hit me, I'm dead. I'll just instantly die. I would love to take the skull here, but the enemy is actually so fast that I can't outrun them properly. So, yep, that will be a problem. No! Oh. I actually thought this would be like, you know, it would actually be easy. It turned out, n no, I think the curse was a problem. I shouldn't have went for the additional item. Oh, that was so close. If the Banshee exploded there, I was dead. Guaranteed. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Please, I have no more revives. Don't do it. They're just faster than me. I can't do anything. How am I supposed to win this? Okay, maybe, you know, I gave Green Acres a couple of tries and didn't end well because eventually a Banshee took me down or stuff like this. Let's go for Mad Forest. Mad Forest is the second hardest map. Arguably the hardest map. It really depends on what you're doing. But I think in our case, the Green Acres is just too difficult to deal with because it constantly changes between the hardest spawns, which are on the Mad Forest, and the easier but deadlier spawns, which are on... Oh my god. Ooh, Candle Labrador. Which are on the Inlaid Library. I think everyone who played this game a bit knows that the Inlaid Library is a lot easier because it gives you more enemies. But later on, it becomes way harder. But then the problem is, if they constantly change around, you don't get the levels to be strong enough. And then the stronger enemies come and you can't deal with them. Ooh, the hollow heart spawned here. Yeah, let's just go for that. Oh, I totally forgot about that. On this map, the spinach spawns. That means I can go for the armor and the wings. And to be honest, you know, he has sort of wings on his helmet and he can fly, so wings make sense. I'll just go for that. Do I go for the armor here? That would be very beneficial. Now, usually, crown would be a good choice, but what I like to do in these runs, I want to go to the max amount of damage of craziness that I can have. And crown, it, it makes it really simple. I like to challenge myself a bit with these, and not just sit here and wait for 15 minutes until the game finally ends, you know? Ooh, lightning ring again. I, I have a feeling this will be the run. Huh, I could lock in the rings now. Yeah, let's just do that. That'll help me overall. Ah, I, I gotta say, I don't feel like a god. The same problem here, the enemies are so fast that they just always catch up with me and eventually land some hits. Do that a couple of times and, yep, you lost all of your health. Hold on a second, why do I not remember this from the Green Acre? Oh, because the Green Acres didn't spawn the boss at 5 minutes. It spawned the golem from the inlaid library. Yeah, that makes sense, okay. Reroll, and yeah, wings better than nothing. Actually, really good for me. Oh, I don't want to lose health here, but it's just a very tiny bit, so that's good. It's better than dying inside of the circle. Duplicator, welcome. And let's get an upgrade. For the lightning ring, wow. That was not very likely, I'm really happy about that. Duplicator is maxed out, perfect. 
I could go for the Tiramigu, but I don't like that you have to lose your base revive, you know, that your character has, just to get rid of the item, so it, I'll not take it. It's actually so frustrating to watch how a 50 damage weapon hits these, and they just get bumped back, that's it. That's all that happens, they don't die. Okay, hopefully now I can kill all the enemies, and this is very useful. Uh, maybe I should have actually saved it, because there's not a lot going on that I want to kill here. But... Yeah, let's go for that. So we are maxed out now, and I can start picking up the... Passive weapons that are on the floors here. So, for one, we have the max heart. It will not really help us a lot, because, it, you know... It doesn't actually give you the health the moment you pick it up, but when we revive... It will count towards it. So, let's look for the spinach now. Okay, never mind. Let's not look for the spinach. I hope I don't get lost. Ooh, this will actually be quite difficult to deal with. There are so many spawns now. Please, get me out of this. Maybe I should have just taken the Tiramigu, anticipating that I will die. Ah, uh, that lightning ring strike was really bad. But if I go down, I think this should be a level up here. Mm, oh, wait, no, never mind. I'm on level 20. That takes so long to go up. Oh, give me that chest. Give me that ch triple chest. Please, please don't upgrade the skull. Upgrade anything but the skull. I, I, it's even fine if you upgrade wings. Please. That's... That's such a weird behavior. So we have this again where if we only have one weapon, the game behaves really weird. Interesting. Oh, I hope this would be food. Give me some food. There's no food. And I did something stupid. Oh... Okay, this is my last attempt on this map. I lost on Green Acres a couple of times, I lost on Mad Forest a couple of times, and next up would be the Inlaid Library if this fails. Now you might be laughing on how can I lose with this, right? It's supposed to be a really broken character, but until you get all the levels to get the additional projectiles, it's just as bad as any other character. It has no benefits to it. And the Thundering, the main problem with it is that I can't target the enemy. It just goes where it wants to go. Duplicator. That sounds really good. Yeah, it's, it's kind of as I assume. The early armor actually set me back so much because, you know, sure, I might take less damage, but for that there are way more enemies around and I don't level up as quickly, so... Yeah, it was not the best thing to get. I mean, not that I could pick something else, I think. I think there was only armor or skip, but yeah, not great. Oh, well, I guess the Tiramigu will not be a concern anymore, but now I don't have a single revive left. Yeah, oh, the bat dropped the chest! Wait, if I get it, oh, I need to get the lightning ring to level 8, ASAP, because I can instantly evolve it with this chest. Why? Why? You gotta be kidding me. What's wrong with this armor? It constantly keeps appearing. Oh! We got another chest. Please, please upgrade the lightning ring. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not taking any more damage. I need damage. I mean, I actually don't take that much damage. I'll just run in in hopes it does. Yes. Okay, one more level. No, two more levels. Oh, okay. Another chest. Let me get that somehow. I'm honestly not sure how I will get there. Ooh, some food. Okay, that's what I can do to get there. And there we go. Lightning ring, please, because I can instantly evolve it. Please. Another lightning ring. You gotta be kidding me. What is it with this armor? <gasps> lightning ring level 8. Okay, okay, okay. I just gotta get to this chest, and I think I'm just safe from then on. It was the wrong chest? No! It's bugged out! Why? Oh, game. Okay, this is my last attempt on Mad Forest. Uh, not a chest. I can't really get there right now. Oh, okay. Ooh, a freeze. Okay, I can get there. Triple chest, perfect. Uh, it's, it's a bugged out one, isn't it? Yeah, but hey, two levels of lightning ring. I'm not gonna complain about that. In fact, it is maxed out now. Six minutes in. Is that what I needed to win this? Probably. I still have two revives left, so I kind of want to start thinning them out and losing one. That I don't take ages to lose the last one. Yeah, I would love to take you, Cherry Bomb. Hey, 
I can't believe it. We have seen Bone, we have seen Cherry Bomb. The rarity was definitely decreased of these. I wasn't sure if Armor is actually the right choice or if I should just play better. But it's really difficult to navigate through enemies, especially when the lightning ring just hits outside of the screen, right? Because off screen enemies also spawn and they can hit there. And that makes it really hard to survive. So I think armor is just needed. <laughs> the, the game is behaving really weird right now. This is the only run where this happened. So this is not like a modding issue. And I, I didn't even change a lot of things, right? Like I didn't change rarities. I didn't change game behavior or such. I only adjusted one character and that was it. Okay, there's a 10 minute boss. That means once we kill him, we can upgrade our lightning ring to thunder loop. And then it should be a lot easier. Because even if a hit doesn't kill them, there will be a second one soon after. And that should do the trick. Well, I guess you also need to hit the boss to kill him. That's kind of the difficult part. Because even when we hit him, it takes so long to land the next hit. Oh, wait, this is either the best wave ever or the worst wave ever. Um, yeah, I have a feeling it's actually a really bad wave for me. Uh, I guess I can kind of run through, but I hope that would just level up in masses here. So yeah, this revive totally fine. Wait, that was... Oh no, that was my last revive. I thought I had one more. Uh... 